Hey everybody, Pastor Matt with a real quick tutorial about altar calls. I could go into why we need to do that. We can probably save that for another time when we have like a class or something. But let me just hit the points real quick and give this to a specific group of people, being that it's Resurrection Sunday tomorrow and we want to cover these points. The first one is don't interrupt the moment that people are in the midst of that final worship song. Sometimes I see people chatting with the person that just came to Christ. So, you know, that transformation happened in their life. They're coming forward and now they're sort of trying to what what they're trying to get into a conversation you're trying to have with them while the worship is still happening. Let that moment just play out, right? Even if they want to talk, maybe you could respond minimally so that the focus is really still on that particular moment. The second one is make sure you care more about the decision that they're making than you are about them getting the information you're wanting, right? Because what I have seen happen is, is people are getting a card to the person as soon as they're coming up front, rather than actually just being in the space with them and just celebrating and just being in that moment with them. So don't hand that card to them right away. First, find out who they are. First, how did they come to Coastal? What brought them forward this particular day that they're um, coming to make this most important decision? Ask them questions that are more centered on what they need and on their circumstances, rather than your card getting filled out and getting their names into a database or whatever it is that they're probably presuming is going to happen. So if that's the case, this feels more like a mechanical exchange than it does sharing and caring about the person themselves. Oh, and by the way, we do want that information because we both know that we want to follow up with this person. And I would express that we want to pray for them, take the journey with them. This isn't about getting them into a database so that we can send them what they're probably used to, which is offering envelopes, promotionals, campaign invitations to get, come to some kind of giving event. You got to realize this is all the, the backstory that's coming into someone's mind when they are making that decision. It even happened last week where a woman thought that it had something to do with membership, right? So you got to remember people are coming forward with all kinds of preconceived notions. You want to make sure that you're convincing them that you are fully caring about them and not about that card. Although that card is a mechanical piece that was really helpful, that's secondary to them really feeling the love of Jesus coming through you. How do you do that? One more thing is you emotionally regulate to where they are. If they're coming and they're crying, you don't want to come all giddy and excited, right? And the other thing is that if they're filled with a certain amount of joy in the decision they made, you don't want to be all mechanical and serious about it. So you have to figure, kind of figure where they are and meet them in that space. And then the last one, sometimes you come forward because you actually talked with them into coming forward. If that's the case, don't force that. Don't force them into coming forward. You might look down your row and say, do you want to go? Do you want to? And that, that, and if they just say no, don't take it past there because we never want to second guess ourselves and wonder, is this the Lord or did I actually kind of coerce this person into the decision? There's that part where you're actually helping them be confident to walk forward. And then there's a part where our humanity's taken over and it really isn't the Lord. And I need to be sensitive to that too, as I'm continually giving that call, just how many times before it's something about me and it's no longer about that person making the individual decision. So keep those thoughts in mind as we move into Resurrection Sunday and we'll do more in the days to come about coaching in regards to what it looks like when people are receiving Christ as their Savior. And thank you so much for even being a part of the team and caring and want to be in the space where people are receiving Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. God bless you. Prayers for Sunday mornings.